perfect. All right, now imagine you have a box right about where your goggles are. From fingertips to elbow, nothing bends or breaks. Set your hands on top of the box without using your shoulder. Yeah, well, that, that's something I'm working on at the uh -huh. moment. Is this, okay, yeah, so. and bring it in a little bit more like this. So, so the widest part of your stroke is where it enters. You get your hands on top of the box. That, oop, you're an, you're an H. Bring it in. Diamond. Okay. Diamond right. shape. So you're going to do here, here, and then basically apply pressure, and then you're actually done. I'm sorry, just about apply pressure and get your arm out as quick as possible and back yep. to the front. And the best idea, too, is to just actually use your elbow to swing it around. All right, okay, Lucy Charles swings it around, right? She's not pulling back and then lifting her arm up and then shoving it forward, which would put a lot of stress on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. She's just on a surfboard, right. paddling it. Right? So it's pretty cool. It's it's like a lot of things in nature. Paddle, canoe, kayak, right? Put your hand in wider than the boat. Engage the water. Pressure and release. The more longer you hold the pressure, the more the paddle's going to get so stuck. So that's, that's another bad habit. Well, uh, that's another habit induced by my coaching leads is... Finish your stroke. Simon, you, you need to... Thumb against your thigh thumb there. Thigh. And then you got to do this to for get out of it. For 25, 30 years, the yeah. thumb against the thigh. And when I started getting my stroke out here, the first thing you jumped on was your stroke's way too short. Nope, it's not. So there is a lot of power in the push. The problem is you can't manage it, and it creates other things in the stroke that make it sabotage the elements you want to keep. So say, for instance, you're buying, let's go nice and wide out here. Now, this is too wide. All right, so here I am, I'm going to enter, and here's the cool thing about this wide stroke. If I'm here, look, there is a straight line. Ooh, balance is good today. Straight line from my fingertips to my thing, right? Right now, let me bring it in a little bit. Yeah. I just lost my balance, and here's, we're balancing on water. You don't have, and it's moving, so we have to have different things that, like different rules, right? So the old push, what happens? You, your hand's in the right spot and you finish your stroke and boom, now you're back in the center. All right, there goes that one. All right, you're trying to set up a high elbow catch, but you push in the back, boom, arm falls down. Now you got a deep late catch. You're trying not to rotate too much, boom, now you're rotating again. So it sabotages the good elements, which is gently rock the shoulders, don't roll them. Reach out, don't spear and get that hand out in a relaxed form, kind of like maybe instead of doing fingertip drag like this, think about drawing a half circle. So it's bend, swing, mm. bend, swing, bend, and swing. All right. All right, now the fun part 